So what we're looking at here is a flat print, an interactive engraving that requires a combination of looking and touching to fully experience it. And in a flat print, a separate print is attached to a larger engraving to present two versions of the scene. The viewer really has to get closer and lean in to actively manipulate and engage with it. In a flat print, we could say that the two-dimensional engraving in a way becomes almost three-dimensional by virtue of the addition of the print. And you might even say that it becomes four-dimensional because the addition of the flap allows for the incorporation of time and the possibilities of depicting, for instance, before and after scenes of natural disasters, for instance. But in this case, the format is being used to depict the burial practices of the biblical Jews. We have a procession here that's leading us visually to the entrances of the tombs. And the funerary theme of the central image is amplified by imagery in the margins. And then there's also a passage from the book of Revelations, which reads, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, they rest from their labors. And so the presence of this flap heightens the viewer's sense of anticipation. And then when you lift the flap, the scene is transformed and we see the interior of the tomb as well as the bodies inside. This piece presented an interesting and unique challenge because the vast majority of the things that we mat and frame are flat 2D works and depth is not an element that we typically have to consider. So in trying to decide how to display it with the flap open, we thought about ways to make a really deep frame that could accommodate the flap, how to keep the flap open. We played with armatures, and then we had the idea of using the Vivac, which is a similar inert plastic to mylar, but it's more rigid and it will keep a form. But we've also been doing a lot of work with rare earth magnets. So what I came up with was two small magnets on the base of the piece with two larger magnets on the back to hold them in place. And then we'll display the piece on an angle so the viewer can see what is typically hidden.